Hello, today I'm going to tie a new, another fly. <coughs> this one is a dry fly with extended body. But the body is made up of uh, um, um, three strands of uh, kind of hair I have. Bought it from Fly Touch Dungeon. Uh, silicone and dubbing. Okay, let's get on with it. Apply some silicone on this needle, which I have attached with my Norwise. Place this here in the in that silicone. Take some dubbing. It's important that the uh, the dubbing has long fibers. Okay, you have to apply this silicone all through this body. To apply some more on my finger. Okay, now you can see this body is totally soaked with silicone okay just take a grab squeeze it and just pull all of the needle roll it around in your fingers and make a little bend on it okay lay it aside to dry this is one body you see here then I can just make another one okay take another three strands from this sy synthetic hair I have okay Make sure they are equal length, just about. Okay. Put it inside the silicone, that's which I have applied. Another wisp of dubbing. Not so much. So it will attach to this silicone. Okay, this time I want to make a little bit thicker dubbing, sorry, thicker body. Little more, little more. Okay. Okay. A little more silicone on my finger. That's right. Okay, and repeat the pr procedure procedure <laughs> from last time. Squeeze and pull it off. Make a little bend on it, like that. Okay, put it aside to dry. Okay, 
Now I'm going to make a yellow one. Just for this video. Okay, apply some more silicone. Just put the tube on into the needle. Okay. Get some more strands from this like looks like a paintbrush or something. Okay. This light I see three strands. That's okay. Put it on this needle, insert it in the silicone. Okay. Okay, this time I'm gonna make a yellow one. Okay. This is Flyrite, the other dubbing I used, <coughs> I bought from Fly Times Dungeon. It's a uh, dubbing called uh, Bullfrog Dubbing Dry Fly. Very good, very nice. Okay, here I go again with this yellow dubbing. Again, a thin wisp. Silicon makes everything stick to your fingers, so have a cloth or uh, something to wash it off afterwards. Okay, like you see now, I made a yellow one. Okay, apply some more silicon just to soak it in. Okay, now I'm going to tell you about advantages with this type of extended body. As you can see, it's very fast to make. Just have to pull it off, okay, like that. Very fast to make, and okay, this body has air trapped inside it. It fly, fly, it floats <laughs> like a bubble. Because when you touch this end, sorry, this end to the hook, the air stays inside this body. And you know, it floats like a cork. And it's durable. And if you want to make your fly very much durable. You can use super glue to uh, reinforce this fly, especially on that point when you fast uh, when you wrap your body to the hook with thread. Okay, that's all for now. Uh, I'm gonna soon make a full uh, fly dry fly with this type of body. Bye.